Hello traders and investors, welcome back to the Trend Trader channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Tesla vehicle delivery. They've released the delivery report now at the end of March, so it covers the first quarter of 2024. Okay, so the result they came on the 2nd of uh, April 2024, as uh, you can see there. So there's not so much that we can say there. The only thing that we see is the production. In total, they produced over 433,000 cars and 386,000 were delivered. You can see the spread between the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y in comparison to the other models. But to zoom in on the Model 3 and Y, you can see that they delivered just slightly below 370,000 vehicles. So this does look like a decent number of uh, delivery, but if you look at the share price, the market received this news in a negative way. By that, we mean that there was a drop uh, in share price, in Tesla share price. There are other things that we're going to look at at this uh, moment. So there's a lot that uh, they talk about. As you can see, they talk about the production of over 433,000. Uh, vehicles and the delivery of over 387,000. Uh, so it is the same figure that uh, we see here. But also they talk about the energy storage uh, options and they make the comment that it is the highest quarterly de uh, deployment yet. So this is uh, also good news. But now we want to look at other things that uh, they have reported in the past. So in their recent uh, earnings report, which was released at the end of quarter 4 in 2023, so we can look at those results and compare how many cars were produced versus the, how many cars uh, were delivered. Okay, so now in terms of uh, year on year, it, because we want to compare on a quarter and quarter basis, then we're going to be looking at this, uh, the last quarter 4, which is the, the quarter 4 of 2023. So now what we see from, in this case, we are just looking at uh, the revenue, but now those cars that uh, were delivered, they were just above uh, 400,000, and then they led to a revenue of uh, 20, uh, 21 billion. One thing that was worth noting with the previous result was the cash and cash uh, equivalent at the end, which was uh, around 29 billion. And also you can look at the earnings per share, which were $2.27. So this is nice. It shows that uh, Tesla is profitable or was profitable in that uh, previous quarter. Then we can then compare it with uh, other things that they have reported uh, in the past. We want to see the numbers that uh, were delivered in that uh, specific uh, quarter. So now here we are no longer talking about money, we are talking about cars. You can see at the end of quarter 4, they had uh, produced just over 476,000 uh, Model 3 and Y, and they just produced slightly less than 500,000 uh, vehicles. And then they had a total de deliveries of 484. So now if you compare this uh, 484 with the 386, you can see there's just uh, about 100,000 decline in terms of cars that are delivered. Obviously, there are a lot of uh, factors that can um, factor into this. We can talk about uh, the economy. Are people still able to buy uh, vehicles in general, not just uh, necessarily Tesla, but also how do other EV manufacturers uh, are handling the situation? Like, for example, if you look at uh, Tesla competitors, are they able to produce and deliver all the cars uh, that they produce? So now whenever we look at that uh, information, we shouldn't just uh, be too harsh uh, on Tesla. We should just look at everything uh, objectively. And then also they spoke about the storage that uh, was deployed. You can see at the end of quarter 4, it was... Um, 3,200 uh, megawatt that uh, they produce there per hour or that they have deployed and then now that number has increased to over 400,000 uh, you can see I mean over 4,000 megawatts uh, per hour so that's it in terms of looking at uh, the data the deliveries are around 200,000 uh, and the market is not responding uh, positively on those uh, news so if you have been following us it's been a while since uh, we covered tesla so at this moment we are looking at the chat the chart of tesla we are looking at uh, the weekly time frame you can see that a uh, tesla it attempted there was a period where it traded above this level you can see there was that nice breakout and two 
0.3 retest of that breakout level so with the second it the stock failed to break above this level here so it started to consolidate but for those people that are familiar with a um, lower highs you can see that this high is lower than the previous low and also this high is lower than that uh, previous low so this i mean that previous high so this is a characteristics of a stock that uh, is in a downtrend and that has been uh, proven a, a long time ago if you look at how tesla has behaved uh, in the past so now we know that a previous support can turn a, a resistance level so what we are looking at here we can see that this acted as a, as a support then the tesla then broke below uh, this level here you can see the stock has been trading in a range but it has been finding resistance from that uh, previous uh, support level so as you can see as the share price went down it started to create something that looks like a bearish flag which was broken a uh, downside so whenever you see a bearish flag you can come back to this low and then want to see how the price is going to behave when it comes back uh, to this level if it's positive you want the price to bounce to find support and then continue with the upward movement but as we see here we noticed that uh, the share price broke uh, below this level so this is the level that uh, we are talking about that uh, it broke below that uh, support level and also confirmed that this was uh, a bearish flag that uh, formed there so now what do we see with tesla we saw that it has been trading in this range as you can see it just bounced up and then we're looking at that level but also we're looking at this uh, particular level so taking everything into consideration the delivery numbers the earnings from the previous quarter and also from the technical perspective we can see that uh, there are two potential uh, scenarios at this moment the stock is still a uh, very much a uh, bearish it is trading below key moving average so to expect the stock to bounce up and retest this level well it's possible but what are the odds that uh, is going to happen so now the other alternative is that the stock break uh, below this uh, previous uh, support level and that is the move that uh, we are paying attention to we don't have a position we are not a uh, short of uh, tesla but for people that uh, are short or that are interested in shorting a uh, tesla or trading options of tesla then this is the level that uh, they can look at obviously we are always uh, we always like to cover positive news but you can see if this level does a breakdown then the next potential level is around uh, this level somewhere around uh, 113 dollar per share so as you can see it's going to be a wild ride uh, before tesla comes back to test this level well <laughs> for your those who are currently shareholders we hope that uh, this move does not uh, pan out but if it does just uh, keep in mind that tesla share price might come and check uh, and test that 120 dollar to 110 dollar level for us who are looking to buy we are sitting uh, on the sidelines at the moment we are waiting to see how this uh, delivery news are going to be digested and also how tesla is going to report uh, their result in the uh, upcoming quarterly report so now this is the trade level that you want to bring to your attention this level here around uh, 113 120 and also this level here around uh, 163 so that you can see if that uh, share price tesla share price breaks uh, below this level so that's it uh, for today if you found value in this video please make sure that you subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed and make sure that uh, you smash the like button we will see you on the next video